When I got into this contraceptives work, it wasn't, it definitely wasn't something I had planned to do. When I'd be out talking to women in the developing world, and I'd be there to talk about vaccines, but they would bring it up and they'd say to me, don't you see, if I could choose when I have my next child, it would be more fair to these children. We take it so for granted in the United States. We use these contraceptives, and it's what has allowed me to plan the number of children I would like to have and, and to work. And yet, we're not allowing these women to have them simply because we've become afraid. We've become afraid as a world of talking about what we need. We can't take our fear and then not serve women what they actually need and want and to keep themselves and their children alive. That, that just doesn't make sense. This is Sadie Sine and I met her uh, in Niger and I was talking with her about contraceptives. She finally said to me, why do I have to walk, you know, almost 10 miles, She's, for her it was kilometers, but 10 miles to get my contraceptive tool and then sometimes it's not there. Sadie is one of the people I carry in my heart because that question of why, why not? So this is Mary, who I met in uh, Korogocha slum uh, with her three children, and uh, she'd started this backpack business. What she said to me is, life is hard here, yet when I can do this, when I can you know, make these backpacks and sell them, things get better for me and my kids. Her ability to use contraceptives means that if she doesn't choose to have any more children, which she was seriously contemplating not. She can sew and do what she wants and she and her kids can go to market and she can sell more backpacks, which means more economic opportunity for her. Margaret Balacci said something to me that I'd never even thought of. She said, you know, you will all call this family planning. And she said, yes, we're planning our families, but it's really about planning our futures. That if we can plan our futures, we can plan for them and know when we will have children, then we can make decisions about our lives. And I thought, wow, she really nailed it.